Hello everybody, as promised, this is the, a short video on lecture example week 10, which we've done in class. Um, I have posted the solution and the question on Ikamba, but it's just to reiterate a few things which you may still be struggling with. I'm obviously not going to go through the whole question, I'm just going to do maybe two or three transactions to help you to understand how to calculate VAT. Now in this question, the gross margin is 20% and the VAT rate is 14%. And then all the transactions will have VAT unless otherwise stated and unless, of course, you can figure that the VAT is not included in the transaction. What's important for you to remember is that if you're dealing with bank or accounts receivable or accounts payable, if you're buying and selling, then those are the things which will always be the 114%, which means those accounts will include VAT, whereas sales and inventory will always exclude VAT in your journals. So if we look at transaction number 12, transaction number 12 says you purchase goods on credit from BNB wholesalers for 4,560 Rand and you received a 10% trade discount. Now what I told you in class is you always take into account the discount first. So you'd minus the 4560 from the, I mean you'd minus the 10% from the 4560. So if I go to number 12 in my solution, this is number 12 over here. What we did here is the calculation, I said 4560 multiplied by 90%, so I took away the 10%, and what I'm left with is the 4104 Rand. So the 4104 Rand includes VAT, so it's the amount that goes to accounts payable. Now how do I calculate VAT from there? I say 14 over 114 multiplied by 4104, and that is what gives me 504 Rand. So that calculation over there is for this VAT over here, the 504. And then in order to calculate inventory, I say 100 over 114 multiplied by 4104, and that gives me my 3600. And that is for my inventory. So what happened here was, you calculated the accounts payable because you had a trade discount. It came to 4104. Then you took that 4104 and you separated it between the VAT, which is the 14 part, and the 100, which is the inventory part. And together that gives you the accounts payable, which is 114. So that is how you'll process an entry when you're purchasing inventory and there's VAT included. Now, in this question, there wasn't a transaction where you purchase inventory where I said excluding VAT. But if I had given you a transaction where it's VAT excluding, then that means that I would have given you this 3,600 in the question. So I would have said you purchased VAT and the VAT, you purchased inventory and the inventory is 3,600 excluding VAT. Which means that I've given you only the 100%. Then in order to calculate VAT, you would have said 14 over 100 multiplied by 3,600. And that would have given you the 504 as well. Okay, so that's very important. Mostly the all the amounts include VAT, but if I say VAT, it's like VAT exclusive, then you'll say 14 over 100 multiplied by 3600. Right. Now, going to a sales transaction, so we're going to use number 18. Number 18 says you sold all the goods that you purchased from BNB, you sold all of those goods to AG traders. Now, where do we buy goods from BNB? We bought goods from them by number 12 which means we have to use number 12 in order to do number 18. So I'm going to go to my solution. This is number 18 over here, and I need number 12 in order to do number 18. So I sold all of the goods which I purchased. So what was the value of the inventory which I purchased? 3,600. So that same 3,600 is what I've transferred over here to my cost of sales. So I debit my cost of sales and I created my inventory with 3,600. That was the value of the inventory which I purchased by number 12. Then when I do my sales journal, I'm using that 3,600. I'm calculating my markup and I'm going to get to 4,500. So I'm saying 100 over 80 because that's my gross margin. Multiplied by 3,600 and that gives me my 4,500. What do I now do with the 4,500? 4,500 is the sales amount, which means it excludes VAT. So how am I going to calculate VAT? I'm going to say 14 over 100 multiplied by 4,500, and that gives me 630. So now I'm not using 114 because the sales amount always excludes VAT. 
So 14 over 100 times by 4,500 gives me 630. 630 is what goes to Vivette. And in order to calculate the counts receivable, I'm adding those two together. So if I add 630 and 4,500, it gives me the 5130. 5130 goes to accounts receivable. That is obviously an amount including.